It's been roughly 9 months since I reviewed this Airtel router and a lot has happened since then. Okay, maybe just two major things, but I wanted to talk about everything that is new so far about this device and if it is something that I would recommend you get. So since I reviewed the router, one of the first things that happened was the increase in price of all data prices. This was announced by the NCC and honestly, it's like the network providers were waiting for the NCC to announce this because immediately they did. It didn't take time, like the speed at which they even changed all their prices was very fast. From my first review about this device, I believe I showed that the cheapest plan was 20,000 Naira. But now the price for the cheapest plan is 30,000 Naira which is a 50% increase. But something new you will see from the app is the day your plan expires. Before, anytime I plan to renew my subscription, what I'll do is I'll note the date in a note-taking app or something like that and I'll always keep that in mind. But now, technically, I don't have to. <laughs> but the thing is that I don't trust most of these network providers. So for now, I'll still be doing that until I notice that, okay, they are not doing anything fishy. Alright, so the first major thing is that the price has changed and you can see the date your plan expires. So for the second thing, I made this video a while back about using the Airtel SIM with this Orimo hotspot device. And since I made the video, honestly, I abandoned this uh, Airtel router and I was using the Orimo hotspot device ever since. But right now, the battery is swelling and it is charging slowly. I may need to get a new battery for the device. I think I've seen one on Jumia also. So because this device was not charging well for me, I decided to remove the Airtel SIM from here and put it back into the Airtel 5G router. And that's what I've been using ever since until I started receiving comments by people letting me know that the SIM card doesn't work on other devices anymore. So I decided to try it. I removed the Airtel SIM card from here. I don't know if you can see it, but from the router itself. And I put it into the or IMO hotspot device and for an hour the network did not come so I know that normally happens sometimes but I decided to put the sim card back into the Airtel router and I noticed that the network came back so technically I believe that Airtel has stopped the sim from working on other devices I don't remember if I said this in the video I made at the time but if the Airtel sim would work on other devices then it means that technically you don't need the router, you just need to find a way to get the SIM and you can use it on any device you want. And the good thing about using it on devices like this is that you can take the device anywhere you want, anytime you want. But now, you can't do that anymore unless you have a, a very big bag maybe. Then you can put this one in with the power bank. As you can see, I'm not even using it with the power bank. It is connected directly to the charger. For me, I did not use the SIM on a phone, but some people commented that they used the SIM on their phones and it was working at the time but not anymore. And another set of comments that I'm getting recently is that um, people that are buying the routers now, they are saying that the routers the routers don't come with SIM cards, like they come with eSIMs, which means that you cannot remove the SIM from the router. I'm guessing Airtel doesn't want the SIM accessible, like easily accessible, and I can understand why, because if people can just get their hands on the SIM, then they wouldn't see the need to buy the routers. So the final thing I want to talk about is how good the service is since I made the video like that nine months ago. So I would not say that the service is horrible and at the same time I won't say that the service is great. There are some days when, yeah, it, the internet is very fast, depends on the plan you, you choose anyways, but there are some days when the speed is good and there are some days when it is just horrible. But lately, when it comes to streaming videos on platforms like YouTube and Netflix, I would not say I experience a lot of buffering. Like it's it's majorly smooth and i'm using the cheapest plan the one of now 30,000 naira which gives you a speed of 20 megabits per second also where i currently live has decent airtel network i actually moved from the house that i was in when i made the review for this device so i've been staying here for like a, a month plus now and so far i'll say that the airtel network is decent but instead of all this talk let's just do a live demo for the speed test so you guys can see how good the, the network is. All right, so I'm going to be running the speed test. It is currently 3.06 p.m. afternoon time. This is when the network is usually not so good. And at night is when it gets really bad. But during like midnight, it is very good. So let's see what it looks like now. Okay, so we are getting 
a speed of up to 15 megabits per second it is fluctuating between 15 and 14 which is actually good because i'm currently on the 20 megabits plan so getting a speed like this in the afternoon is actually impressive so the download speed 16 upload speed is around 14 15 as well but you can see it as it is happening So this looks like a good speed test considering the plan like I said I'm using the 20 megabits plan uh, in the past I will be getting like 5 megabits per second and so on so what I will say is that um, just make sure you have good network good Airtel network in your area because this thing is not going to perform miracles if you are living in a place where Airtel network is bad then getting this router is not something I will recommend but if you live where there's 5G, I don't have 5G where I live, but if you live where there's 5G, then I can recommend this. And if you want like the fastest speeds, then go for the highest plans. I think it's around, I'm not sure, maybe 60,000 Naira now. Um, but uh, for me, it is very good. I use it for uploading videos on all my channels. And yeah, this is the update I have so far for the Airtel router. Too bad that we can't use it on other devices anymore. If you found the video helpful please give it a like and subscribe for more tech videos like this if you have questions please leave them in the comments i'll be seeing you in the next video take care and bye bye